Okay, so we've been looking at all the different types of CSS selectors in the last several videos. And we're going to introduce a few new ones in this video. Now in the last video we talked about descendant selectors and that of course involves moving from top down. We select a parent selector and then we select its child selector. But you can also move side to side to side to side and that involves using sibling selectors. So again, we can move from one sibling to another sibling to another sibling. And so those are the selectors that we're gonna cover in this video. Now the first type of sibling selector is called the adjacent sibling selector. And that's just what that sounds like. Basically, if we look at this div right here, the siblings in here are the H2 and the paragraph. And by the way, that's the same for the rest of these divs as well. So the H2 is the first sibling, and this paragraph element here is the second sibling. And this div right here, the H2 is the first sibling, and there are two paragraph siblings, but they are all siblings of each other. So what the adjacent sibling selector does is it basically will select the next sibling. So if we specify this H2 element right here, the next sibling, which is this paragraph element, will be selected. And so let's do that down here. I've already created some CSS code here and we're just gonna change the color to red. So what we'll do is we'll put in the H2 element. The plus sign is used to denote an adjacent sibling selector. So that's what we use there. And then we just put the paragraph element here. And so basically what will happen is the next sibling after the H2 element will be selected, which of course is the paragraph element, this one. And so all the next paragraphs and all of these divs should have their text changed to red. So let's go ahead and save this and we'll refresh over here. And there you can see all the text is changed to red. Now you might see this paragraph right here and you'll notice that the color did not change to red. And that is because this paragraph, this one right here, is not an adjacent sibling. So that's why the color of the text was not changed. Now what if we wanted to select all of the siblings after this H2 element? So in other words, we want the color of this paragraph to change as well. And that's where we have to use the general sibling selector. And that will basically select all of the elements past this H2 sibling. And we use the tilde sign for that. So let's just go ahead and switch that to a tilde. And there you can see. So all of the elements now past the H2 should have their color changed to red. So in other words, we'll just see a change right here with this paragraph element. So let's save this. We'll refresh this. And there you can see the text in this paragraph is now red. Now there is one other type of selector which I have not mentioned in this series. And that is the wildcard. And I'm not going to do that here, but I'll tell you that if you just put a wildcard sign, and that is, I'll just put it down below here, and there you can see it's just a wildcard. So we would put a wildcard right here. That will select every element on your web page. I'm not going to actually show you this because I have never used this. I haven't found a single reason to use this yet, but it would actually select every single element on your web page. And that's just called the wildcard selector. Okay, that's going to do it for this video.